morning boys and girls happy Monday uh, I didn't get to our science video on Friday because the eggshell would not finish dissolving on my egg so I just left it um, and put it in the syrup once the shell was completely gone there's nothing to show you until I've been in the syrup for a while so I left it in the syrup all weekend and every time I looked at it it didn't look like it was doing anything I thought this experiment was gonna be a flop but I picked it up yesterday and kind of moved it around and I could see a difference. Let me show you what happened. One second. Okay, it really doesn't look like much, but that's the egg there. And I filled this jar to the brim with the syrup and then flipped it over so that I could coat the whole egg really well because it's still floating in there. And every time I looked at it, I thought, this doesn't look like this egg is shrinking at all. But when I picked it up, can you see how liquidy the syrup is now this it's a syrup it's like pancake syrup or honey it's very thick and slow moving but it has pulled the water out of the egg and gotten much thinner so my egg did shrink just like it was supposed to Ew, it feels so gross. As you can see, it's still rubbery, like it was from the vinegar, but it's smaller in that I can, you know, it's got some give to it. It's like squishy. So now, the next part of the experiment, hang on, one second, it's really gross. All right, so the next part of the experiment is to make the egg um, grow back up. We're going to stick it in water and it will reabsorb all the water that it lost while it was in the syrup. And when we take it out of the water um, and pop it, I think it's supposed to kind of explode and squirt water everywhere. So what we're going to do is I clean my jar because it was really sticky and still full of syrup. Hot water is all I used. Okay, clean my jar. Here's my egg. Ooh, it's gross. Okay, I'm gonna stick it back into the jar. All right, and then I'm just gonna put some water on it. Not hot, not cold, just kind of lukewarm. Just room temperature. And let it sit for a while. I'm not sure how long. Hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be able to finish this experiment and take a look at it. I'm also gonna add a little bit of food coloring to the water, just because I think it'll make it look more interesting when we get to the last part and it, and it explodes, is what it's supposed to do. We'll see. So far, so good. Everything has worked. But, all right, so let me tilt this a little bit. Over here at my sink. Just ran hot water, so. It smells like vinegar, it's so gross. It's just kind of laying there on the bottom of the jar see so that's good I don't have to try to figure out some way to keep it from floating and staying completely submerged in the water all right and let's see normally I let my girls decide what color but they're not here so I guess I'll decide what color um, I've got blue red and yellow I think I'm gonna go with blue since people tend to think of water as being blue so I'll put a few drops of food coloring in there Okay, and because the water is cold, it's not mixing very fast. But my jar is so full, I don't want to try to stir it up, so I'll just let it sit there and let the color mix on its own. It'll just take it a little longer because the water is cold. Remember from our other experiment with the hot water and the cold water, the food coloring traveled through the hot water much faster than the cold water. So just set this aside, let the egg do its thing, and at the end of the day, I'll try to make another video so that we can see what happens. All right, bye, have a good day.